Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. My name is Olivera Jankowska, and I'm the author of the My Homeland book series written for children of uh, multicultural backgrounds. Um, they're newly published just um, this past November, November 1st, 2020. Um, and it's a pleasure for me to be able to present to you a little bit about my books today. I do have a small presentation I'd like to share with you. Um, the books are published by Atlas Inc. It's a woman-led, minority-led publishing company. Um, and um, the books are specifically for children to um, become appreciative of the cultures that they belong to. You know, we are we're living in a society where a lot of children are now the melting pot. You know, one of the parents might be American, the other one might be international. Both parents might be international. Um, so these are specifically for children to appreciate their culture. Um, I was inspired to write these books starting with my own son. I am originally from Macedonia. My husband is from India and we have a three-year-old boy um, who lives in the United States. And sure enough, um, I looked for literature to find books that not only teach him about his cultures, but teach him how to appreciate his culture. Now that's the difference. You know, there's plenty of books out there for different countries, different cultures. You know, you can find, you can go in the library, you can find a book about India or about um, Colombia, but you don't really find books that specifically um, address how to love and rekindle and appreciate your culture. So that's where I plunged into this particular project and it has been so greatly successful so far. Um, I have published um, the first set, I published in a set um, and the boy version of the book was number one bestseller within 48 hours of the publication. So um, with the first book, um, you know, uh, publishing through Amazon, I was uh, extremely proud to see that. I wasn't even aware, so I had a little celebration for it. Um, but just a little bit more about my mission and what I'm trying to achieve. Um, the uh, publishing company is specifically helping parents and educators, caregivers, um, and anyone who deals really with children, specifically multicultural children, to appreciate, preserve their heritage. Um, by um, And we do that by per publishing personalized children's books. And I will touch on this, what I mean specifically about personalized um, later on in the presentation. And we teach them about their homeland. Um, that's uh, focusing on one country at a time. Our main mission is to publish children's literature that empower multicultural children, specifically immigrant children, diaspora children to embrace their heritage and identity. However, our vision is a little bit larger. We are hoping that these children will learn how to um, you know, become diplomats and become global citizens, and they will be the next generation of peacemakers who will reduce inequality and promote diversity and inclusion at the same time. Um, like I said, we've been in existence just a, less than a year, already have, um, you know, sold um, and donated 1,000 books. So uh, the way I work is for every book that is being sold, I donate one book to underprivileged children. Um, and then we collaborate with um, academic institutions around the world. I think Catherine mentioned that the research is very important and we focus on research as well. I collaborate with um, linguists, historians to ensure that the books are written without a bias and are true representation of the cultures that I, that I write about. Um, I myself are, you know, well-traveled. I work for UNICEF. Um, I am the representative for the Southwest region. So I've been to almost every country in the world. I've spent a lot of time traveling um, and I speak seven languages. So I felt like it was an easy um, path for me to meet my passion um, and to basically produce something that I'm very comfortable with. So, um, I don't know if this is interesting, but I just wanted to share that um, I've worked really hard to um, fund the books um, and they have been profitable from the start. And this is something that um, 
you know, a lot of authors have struggled and I, and I think one of the easiest way to um, focus on profitability of the books is through those nonprofit ways that I, I basically donate books and that's how I market my books. So I just donate and more books I donate, the more um, customers I get for purchasing my books. So um, I'd like to share a quick review from one of uh, my littlest readers that sent out uh, this video unsolicited. It was just wonderful to see all the reviews that are, um, you know, they're out there, but this is from a brother and a sister who sent me the, the video themselves. So I will play it for you. Just one second. And today we're going to be talking about our favorite parts of the book, My India, by Oliver Day Christa. So my favorite part is how it teaches children to really love and appreciate their heritage and different cultures. Um, I just, I really um, enjoyed the book. I read and learned so much about um, Holi, which is a festival in India, and some famous foods in India. So I really loved it the book and it just made me feel really special when I read it. Yeah, I love the adventure stories um, and the uh, illustrations. They're really pretty. And at the end were two um, fun games of working and acting, which I really enjoyed doing. Yeah, so you would definitely write the book. Six out of five stars. We kind of recommend it. Not in India, but all their videos. Thank you. <laughs> so those are the little um, kiddos that sent me that review and really warmed in my heart. So I wanted to just physically show you real quick um, some of the books and why um, those are um, important for children of multicultural backgrounds. And if you remember in the beginning, I talked about the uh, personalization. So these are the original books that are written for children of Indian descent in English. Um, the books are also translated in Hindi. Um, they're always a boy and a girl because I'm all about inclusivity and I want to make sure that girls don't feel like their main character has to be a boy or the other way around. So um, that's important. And then finally, I do have a coloring book accompanying both versions um, that are um, out there, the English version as well as the Hindi version. And they're all illustrated with, um, with different illustrations. So um, for example, the Hindi translated books, all of my books end with a three activities that I invented. I didn't want to leave the reader with just a simple story and leave them um, as their last, uh, you know, uh, last resource for learning about their culture. Um, first, I developed a little map where the children can see all of the places that are presented in the book because my books are featuring realistic places in the countries that are being represented. So they're able to see and kind of track or Google or research about the places that they, um, they read about in the book. The second activity I developed, and this is a little bit of a silly game for younger kids, um, it's iconographic based letters with elements from India. Your name is, um, let's see, Laura. I'm gonna pick on Laura. Um, in this alphabet, you will be a Lotus Temple, which is a very famous structure in Delhi. Um, you are an Ashoka Chakra. Um, you are a Ulu, which is a little owl. Um, and then you are R, a rupee and an Ashoka Chakra. So I have these little stickers that I give uh, when I read the stories um, to children and they can write their names with those little elements in case they are not ready to read yet. Um, and then for the older children to capture an older audience, um, I do have a storytelling section and a scavenger hunt. Inside my book, I have hidden elements. Once they finish the story and the reading, they need to go back and find certain things that they have missed with questions and answers throughout the book. 